Guys, great news. It's spring. The better news is that this wallapini style half buried greenhouse is working really well. I had several of you ask me for an update on this. Candidly, I was just waiting until I had data so that I could give you a proper factual answer to the question. I did an entire video on this greenhouse. I will link it here. It was inspired by a traditional wallapini style greenhouse. Those are pit greenhouses, mostly buried with really sun only coming in from above. And what that helps us with is temperature swings. That is your enemy with any greenhouse design. When the sun comes in, the space can heat up very, very rapidly. And then at night when the sun goes down and you've got all of that glass surface exposed, it can cool down very dramatically. The good news about the earth is that the soil tends to stay at a very stable temperature over time, especially once you get about six feet down. I cannot get away with a wallapini here in the suburbs, but I could get pretty close. And if you look at this wall here, outdoors, this is really all soil uh, beyond this wall. So think about four, maybe a little more than four feet of solid dirt is against this. I have been pleasantly surprised at how well this soil is really stabilizing the internal temperatures in the greenhouse. I did pick up a smart thermometer, that's this little cute guy behind me and I have been recording that temperature continuously day and night and I'm comparing it to the outdoor temperatures. I have graphed that here. You can see that we have had significantly cold temperatures but inside the greenhouse the temperatures have remained surprisingly stable. You can see the difference between a cloudy day and a sunny day. We have significantly more gain on a sunny day but even on those cloudy days it got plenty warm in here and most importantly, it did not drop below freezing at night. My seedlings so far are tomatoes and peppers. Those are not cold hardy vegetables. They will die if they are exposed to freezing temperatures. I will say that it is not warm enough long term for the seedlings to stay in here full time. Tomatoes in particular really struggle if they get below 50 degrees at night. And you can see we are dropping below that almost every night. Once we get a little bit warmer and the temperatures are consistently above 50 degrees at night, I'm going to go ahead and let the seedlings live out here full time. Until then, I'm going to keep bringing them in at night. The other element to the design that I was planning on incorporating to help stabilize the temperatures was to put as much thermal mass in the form of water as I could against this wall, anywhere I didn't have a window, so that during the day, the sun could come in through these windows, hit the water and heat it up. That helps to prevent huge spikes in temperature because some of that solar energy is absorbed by the water. It also then radiates slowly at night and helps to prevent a significant rapid decrease in temperature. I don't know that I need to do it. Uh, and I'm kind of glad about that because if you saw the original design, I had essentially started with where I could place that water in the space and that dictated pretty much everything else. If I don't need as much thermal mass, it really opens up multiple degrees of freedom for me and how I use the interior, and I'm pretty excited about that. For now, all we've really done is to build out these windowsills and make them deep enough that I can put my trays of seedlings on them. I will probably make this deeper still and give myself even more area here now that I know that the design is working. And then I'm gonna pause. And I would say it's kind of a good moral for me. Plan ahead, do a design, but then be scrappy, don't build it all at once, and just wait. I think in this space, I'm gonna end up with a much better use of the interior because I don't need as much thermal mass as I thought I did. That is it, that is the update. Good news, it is working. If I have not answered questions that you had about this, please post them below and I will do my best to respond. Otherwise, I hope everybody's having a better spring than we are and that your growing season is off to a good start. Thanks. Santa, do you like the greenhouse? Do you like it? Good smells. Yeah.